Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Lena. And I'm Dr. Jamie. And today we're going to demonstrate a new stretch that we've created for you, which is possibly the most powerful posture stretch that you're ever going to do. So I know that this stretch has some details in it that we're going to go over. Just bear with me because when you get the details of this stretch down pat, this is possibly the only posture stretch you'll ever have to do from your chair again. It really lengthens the spine, increases your breathing capacity, strains your posture, fixes that forward head, and can even really help eliminate you getting this hump that we're all trying to avoid. So Dr. Jamie's going to help me with the details. So right now he's sitting in good posture. He's got his body weight forward of his sits bones. So what we mean by that is if you can just take your body weight behind your sits bones so people can see, do you see how he's created some roundness here? We don't want to start off in this position. What he's going to do is he's going to feel where those little bones are that he's sitting on, and he's just, without arching his back, shifting his weight forward of them, and you can see that really stacks his spine up for proper posture. So this stretch is going to have two components. One of them is a lengthening component that has to do with breath, and one of them is going to open up the, the front of our shoulders and realign our head as we do that. So let's cover the breathing component first. So we're going to use our breath to help increase our lung capacity, but also make us grow taller. So don't worry too much about where your breath is going while you're doing this. If you just focus on getting longer, all of the areas of your lungs, the whole 360 degrees will fill up like a cylinder perfectly. So Dr. Jamie's going to help me demonstrate this. So what he's going to do, he's going to start off by finding his, we're going to call them your hip bones which are just those two bones right in through here. They're called your ASIS. So these bones right in through there, he's going to put his pinkies on those. And at the same time, he's going to locate the area that's just at the bottom of his ribs. So he's going to have his pinkies on his hip bones, and then he's going to have his thumbs right at the bottom of his rib cage. You got that? Okay, so now all we're going to do is as he's breathing, he's going to focus on growing taller. And what he's going to do is he takes a breath in, is he's going to just very slightly try to expand the area between his pinkies and his thumbs. He's going to try to make it grow taller. But what he's going to avoid doing is doing that by scrunching up his shoulders. That's what he doesn't want to do. And the other thing he doesn't want to do is extend backwards, lean backwards to try to create some space by hyperextending because that's also not going to result in proper posture. Instead, what he's going to do is he's going to focus on length as if he's pushing up on something that's on the top of his head, allowing him to grow taller and taller with each inhale. So I think he just did it because I just, yeah, good job because I felt him get taller. So what he's going to do, try to relax, we'll do that one more time. So as he inhales, that space is getting just slightly larger in between his pinkies and his thumbs. And as he exhales, he's going to try to maintain that lift. And then once again, as he inhales, he's going to grow just a little bit taller and as he exhales, he's going to try to maintain that length. So part of the reason that this is so important is that many of us have this area at the lower part of our rib cage and our diaphragm is being shut down all day long as we're working on our desks. And it's really important that we open this up as we grow longer and extend our posture or we'll keep finding our bodies want to resort to closing it back down and pulling us forward. Okay, so that is stage one of this stretch. For stage two of this stretch, and we are going to bring the two of them together, what we're going to be focusing on is opening up the area in the front of the shoulder and the, and the chest. What we don't want to do is squeeze the shoulder blades together while we're doing this. So I'm going to have you sit on your hands. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to have you turn your palms up. If you're not very flexible, you can just put your palms in on the side as Dr. Jamie is doing, and sit on them. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can turn your hands forward. He's a little bit more flexible, so we'll have him demonstrate this, and put them right behind, and actually have your hands pointed forward. So when you get in this position, we don't want any strain in the front of the shoulder. We don't want this to cause you to hyperextend. You should feel fairly comfortable in the position that you're starting in. Because you can see that what we're going to do is we're going to be bringing these elbows even further back and we're doing that from the shoulder joint. So in other words, we're rotating this shoulder 
back and forth to create some openness in the chest and in the front of the shoulder area, as opposed to squeezing the shoulder blades together. So instead, we're going to be bringing the elbows in and out, and you're going to feel that in the area and through here. So I'm just going to have you turn around. Let's see if they can see this. So just to demonstrate how the elbows are going to come in, just in through this area, can you, there you go. He's squeezing in through here as he's doing this stretch, as opposed to him squeezing his shoulder blades together. So that's what we're trying to avoid. The reason that we're trying to avoid that is that any position that shuts down the ability of your lungs to, and your rib cage to expand properly is not proper posture. Proper posture will actually allow your lungs to expand and allow you to have more space by growing taller. So we don't want to be squeezing those rhomboids and those shoulders together in order to correct our posture. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those two things together. So, Dr. Jamie's got himself in proper position. So all that he's going to do, now that he knows how to expand that area from his rib cage to his hips, as he de takes a deep breath, he's going to grow taller. As he exhales, he's going to maintain that height and bring his elbows slightly together. He's going to keep going. He's going to grow a little taller. And as he exhales, he's going to bring his elbows just slightly together. And you can see as he does this for about eight to 10 breaths, after a while, the motion is imperceptible, but the intention is there that he's continuing to make himself longer without scrunching his shoulders up. And he's continuing to open up the front of this shoulder area and contract the back of his shoulder area by doing so in order to correct his posture and create some long length that he'll be able to then maintain for the rest of the day. If you can find time in your very busy schedule, because we know everybody's overworked these days, to do this three times throughout your busy day, just eight to 10 breath cycles, and then just roll your shoulders out and get back at what you're doing, you're going to find that your posture is so much more open and your breathing is so much more fluid by the end of the day. We really hope you found this helpful. Please, if you have any questions about this stretch, let us know in the comments below. And if you got value from this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.